I mean about a girl. <laughs> 16 seconds. Could there be an Equalizer 4? Well, talks have been going on for long. The battle, the action, everything has got the fans stuck with it. So can we expect the new series to be a hit anytime soon? You took out the East Coast hub of the Russian Mafia. The first Equalizer movie was a huge success, making around $200 million at the box office. It led to a sequel in 2018 that was packed with action. The Equalizer 3 is the final chapter in the series and has become popular on Netflix since its streaming release. So some fans might be asking, will there be an Equalizer 4? Director Antoine Fuqua has said that the Equalizer 4 is unlikely to happen. According to Digital Spy, it was stated that, I would say no, I think this is it, by Fuqua. Denzel Washington's comments at CinemaCon 2023 also suggested that this is the end for me. It may not be the end, they may do another one, but it's the end for me, as reported by ET. Antoine Fuqua has previously mentioned that he would only consider coming back for a fourth movie, but only if Denzel Washington decides to reprise his role. I believe this would be it. We've both talked about it that way, but you never know, he told Total Film. It's unlikely that Denzel Washington would need to be involved for the project to move forward though. If it does happen, Washington might reprise his role as Robert unless it's a prequel or another character altogether takes over. There's also a possibility of a crossover with the Equalizer TV show where Queen Latifah could make her big screen debut as Robin McCall. The characters aren't connected right now, but the star has talked about the chances of the two worlds colliding. The third movie concludes with McCall retiring from his life of seeking revenge and justice in southern Italy. The mafia has been taken down and no one needs his help anymore. He's found peace. However, part of the story involves Syrian terrorists who have been selling drugs to the mafia to fund their terrorism. Now that they don't have a buyer, one can imagine they'll be quite upset. So in a fourth movie, they might come to Italian shores seeking revenge on Macau. He also formed a new friendship with Emma Collins, the daughter of Susan and Bill Plummer, his former DIA colleagues. What if she needs his help with a case that demands his specific skills? Something unofficial, something intense. And then there's the chance of a prequel, which reveals a whole new aspect of Macau's past. We could witness his time as a Marine or any of the many confidential operations he undertook. In the final episode of the Equalizer season, Robin's love interest, Dante, played by Tori Kittles, moved away from New York City. This hints at the possibility that the actor might completely exit from the series, which could create serious issues for season 5 and beyond. The Equalizer first premiered in 2021, and it's a remake of the iconic franchise with the same name that originally starred Edward Woodward. Later, Denzel Washington took on the role in the Equalizer movies. Currently, Queen Latifah plays the eponymous Equalizer as Robin McCall, a former CIA agent who uses her skills as a vigilante on the streets of NYC. Although Queen Latifah stars in CBS's The Equalizer, the show features several other important characters, including Tori Kittles' as Dante. Dante, a divorced single father like Robin, is an NYPD detective who initially sees Robin as a criminal. However, as the series progresses, Robin and Dante become allies and eventually lovers. Their storyline is a major part of The Equalizer, but it might be coming to an end soon because Dante moves away at the conclusion of The Equalizer Season 4, suggesting he might leave the series entirely. At the end of The Equalizer Season 4, Dante's situation is concerning. It doesn't seem likely that he can remain as important if he moves to another city unless he returns for Season 5. Moreover, there's a real-life hint that Dante's departure from The Equalizer is permanent. After the season 4 finale, Tori Kittles posted a photo on Instagram with Queen Latifah saying, What a ride! Thanks for all the love, EQ fans! This caption sounds final, like Kittles' journey with The Equalizer is finished. It looks like Dante's move at the end of season 4 wasn't just a twist in the show's storyline, but it seems to be a permanent choice for Tori Kittles. From how Dante's story wrapped up and his Instagram caption, it seems Kittles plans to end his journey with The Equalizer after season 4. So, with The Equalizer season 5 confirmed, Kittles, and therefore Dante, won't be around for the next season. Dante's absence could change the series in a multitude of ways. The biggest impact of Tori Kittles' sudden exit on The Equalizer is that Robin McCall will no longer have her love interest. This might seem small, but in the context of the show, it's significant. Robin is The Equalizer, but she relied on Dante for emotional and mental support throughout the series. Their relationship grew over four seasons, and now, without any warning, it's over. It would be very odd for The Equalizer to just skip over the end of their relationship. Therefore, Kittles' departure will affect how The Equalizer Season 5 begins, especially for Robin. There's evidence that Robin won't be quite herself after Dante leaves. In his last episode, Robin confesses that she's heartbroken by his departure. So neither Robin nor The Equalizer can just forget the impact Dante had on the show. 
Even if Robin finds someone new later on, the series should take time to create Dante's loss for both Robin and the audience. Season 5 of The Equalizer may not have expected Dante's exit, but it will definitely have to address it now. Tori Kittles is well known for his role in Sons of Anarchy, Colony, and True Detective. Dante's storyline wasn't the only one to wrap up definitively in Season 4 finale, hinting that Season 5 might be a fresh start. With Dante gone and the other storylines neatly finished, the Equalizer has the chance to reshape the series however it likes. Robin's grief over Dante could be a part of a new chapter for her that ends up being even better than before. Robin might find a new love interest or focus more on herself and her daughter. In general, this is an opportunity for The Equalizer to shake things up and keep audiences engaged for the next few seasons. On April 25th, 2024, Deadline reported that The Equalizer Season 5 is confirmed and scheduled to be released sometime during the 2024-25 season. According to the outlet, the fifth season will consist of 18 episodes. 25 years after the original TV show ended, the Equalizer franchise was rebooted as a movie trilogy starring Denzel Washington as Macau. In 2021, the Equalizer returned to television and is set to conclude its fourth season finale on May 19, 2024. Equalizer, produced by Universal Television for CBS, aired on television for four seasons and 88 episodes from 1985 to 1989. The plot revolves around Robert Macau a former British intelligence operative with a mysterious background. He works as a cleaner to protect innocent people from danger. McCall is a mix of James Bond and Dirty Harry, delivering swift vigilante justice using stealth tactics and expert hand-to-hand -hand combat skills. The show received seven Primetime Emmy Award nominations and won a Golden Globe in 1987 for Woodward's performance. Plus James Bond and more of a hybrid between Dirty Harry and John Wick, McCall embodies a Zen-like Buddhist philosophy. He often works alone to seek vengeance against Russian gangsters, Italian mobsters, and other criminals who put innocent people in danger. The Equalizer 3 places Robert McCall in Italy, where he finds out his friends are being controlled by the local mafia. Naturally, he decides to take them down. The mafia family in question is named in the Camorra family after a real Italian mafia group. While Macau and his actions are fictional, the portrayal of the Camorras and their activities is surprisingly true to life. For instance, in real life, over 80 million pills were seized by the Italian government from a shipment linked to the Camorra family, closely resembling the plot of The Equalizer 3. Season 4 of The Equalizer is set to wrap up on CBS on May 19, 2024. The latest season of this popular spy TV show has seen Macau dealing with everything from hit and runs and casino hostage situations to CIA operations in Venezuela and poison MSS agents. While The Equalizer isn't based on a true story, the season 4 finale features Macau rescuing Marcus and Big Ben from a brutal ambush. Co creator and executive producer Terry Edda Miller highlighted the different tones between the TV and movie versions of The Equalizer, mentioning that the movie franchise is a lot darker. It is grim. It is bloody in that very visceral way. She added that it was important for all of us approaching this that the show has warmed to it. Do you think the movie will be a hit? Share your thoughts with us in the comments below. Also, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Until next time, see you all.